Okay, I need a haircut. My God. Let's cut that. Let's cut that. Let's not cut that. That's a... Uh... Open up OBS. See, I feel like I'm at a, I'm at a bad spot right now. I really... oh, I think this is good, right? But no, my head's cut off now, so we, we need to go a little bit lower. Now I feel too small. I really am skinny. I'm not that skinny. I might, I don't think I look that bad, right? I look pretty normal. What's normal though? I'm not normal, I'm fucking definitely not normal. Am I too skinny? Maybe I'm too skinny. Maybe I should start eating some chicken. Ah, nah, you know what? I'm, I don't eat chicken. I don't eat chicken. I'm made of chicken. Chicken eats me. Chicken eats me to get healthy. I'm gonna weave you up the hole. Oh, that's what she said. Let me just weave you up the hole. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for weaving me up the hole. Okay. Put my gamer headphones on because, you know, you need gamer headphones. But do you, though? Nah, you don't. You don't need gamer headphones. Hey, I said, I said, yeah, bitch, I be sinking my fucking microphone just like I be eating my food alone because I'm stuck up in my house. I got nothing to do. I think I'm gonna go and take a big fat poo after I shoot this shit Cause I really gotta shoot my shit right after I get done shooting this shit You get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 bitch, yeah, bitch, I'm looking at myself in the screen I look black as hell, I used to tell myself that I used to tell myself that I sounded like Adele And then I wanted to sing when I was much younger But that didn't work, that didn't work You know why? Because I didn't take the time to perfect, perfect my vocalization That's right, you get what I'm saying Yeah, oh my god, I'm on fire I gotta move to a different location Cause this house is about to burn down And there ain't gonna be no Hesitation from the fire crew to put my flames out Cause it's gonna burn the whole city to the ground I don't even know what I'm saying now So that's just uh, that's just a really sweet looking wallet Check this out, check this out, okay This isn't no promo, I don't, I don't got nobody sponsoring But hey, Esker, if you guys do want to sponsor me, hit me up Looks pretty sick Ex Exter, sorry, not even no. Exter I got it No, but this is really, a really sweet Wallet. I usually don't watch ads. I'm sure you don't give a shit about ads either. But this ad came up, and I was like, "All right, you know what? This wallet looks pretty cool. Like my wallet isn't terrible. It's just a normal wallet, you know. But you know, it's kind of aging. This wallet, on the other hand, um, looks pretty sleek, and I'll show you why in a sec. So, uh, I I just really want to fucking show this wallet off. It looks really neat. So they have essentially wallets, okay. And if you look. What, what do you notice about this wallet, okay? Yeah, it looks it looks pretty good. It looks nice. Let me hide my face there. Actually, that was probably fine. It looks pretty nice, but there's a little secret, okay? Look at that. It pops your cards out. I know. Amazing and lazy as fuck, but it is, it is so cool, though. Like, think about it, man. You go into the store, all right? Paying for your, uh, you're paying for a Starbucks cappuccino. You're like, yeah. Um, <clears throat> the uh, barista, the cashier is like, oh, that'll be uh, twenty dollars. You're like, twenty dollars. Sorry. What was the price again? Twenty dollars. Oh, okay. Debit, please. Credit, please. That, that's 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 slick. That slick. What was that price again? Twenty dollars. Damn it. Boom, 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 dude. That is the coolest thing ever. Popping it. I should probably show you what I'm talking about, okay? Uh, cause it, video does it way better. Look at this, okay? Just check this out. Boom. Okay, it like. 
I'm downloading a siege update right now. Hold up. It pops the cards out. So you can take them out. You can also open the wallet like a normal wallet. You can also get these little trackable uh, cards that you slide into the wallet so you can um, keep track of it, which is pretty dope. Uh, I think it's really sleek. I think it is a sleek looking wallet. They have different colors. Personally, um, I would probably either go with this one or uh, what is this? This is a classic brown. Or, um, what was it? There, uh, I mean, yeah, I want that. I kind of want that nice, lightish, leather looking uh, feel to it. What was it? Here we go. The Vachetta Parliament. This is kind of what I would definitely, um, now nah, this is definitely what I would want to get. If I'm trying to make sure, yeah, this is the right one. Brasicia Bronze. Did I pronounce that right? But that is a nice, nice shade. Oh. Whoa. Bologna Black. <laughs> Bolo is that Bologna? Bolo am I? Is this not how you spell Bologna? I don't know. No, it isn't, right? <laughs> I sound, I sound so stupid. But no, this um, Brasicia Bronze. I was going to say Brasicia Breeze. It, it's just so beautiful, man. Just look at that. Look at that nice, creamy, light orange tanned leather. That is just, oh. Ooh, nice. That is nice. I love that. But yeah, I really just want to show you guys this wallet. I think it is really nice. Um, I've seen an ad for it, and like I said, I usually don't watch ads, but I uh, watched them for like the first time in forever, and dude, it looks straight up like a James Bond wallet. Dude. It looks so nice. What am I? I'm finally turning into an adult when wallets, when wallets excite me. Great. Um, there's also one other thing, just just a simple thing. It's called a Ducky, uh, oops, a Ducky Shine Seven. So these are mechanical keyboards, and um, I currently don't have a mechanical keyboard. Never have. But the cool thing about mechanical keyboards is they have really nice switches, and these switches control basically um, <clears throat> these uh, switches control the well for one the sound of the keyboard. And um, a few of them control the speed. So like linear switches you can get, which is basically a straight down push. I think it has a bit more travel time the more you push down. Um, so the more, you, so you have to give it more force to push it down. But um, that in turn makes the key press a little bit faster, I wanna say. I don't know. Um, I don't know too much about switches but I know um, I know sound is a big factor so you can have to get linear which is essentially your uh, your speed your speed keys and they sound a bit quieter or you can get some uh, uh, tactile ones which have a nice little t -t 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 -t, and uh, really satisfying for typing which um, you know it's pretty good if that's what you're into I want to get one for gaming and for typing so I figured linear would be a good trade-off because I mean I don't have to worry about the sound and recordings as much, but I can also get a nice typing experience. That's pretty dope. Oh, look at this man, the Shine 7 Blackout Edition. Ooh, it's a full size key, which means it has everything on the keyboard, all the numbers, all the keys, including the numpad. Usually a lot of people don't get the numpad anymore, but they, they just get this uh, 10 keyless design it's called, so it doesn't have the, uh, the numpad at all. <clears throat> Um, and then these other buttons will usually like be here. So these buttons will have multiple functions. Instead of just having a print screen, you might have print screen and a uh, audio up or audio down button. I would want to get something called pudding cups. Pudding keycaps, I mean. Um, but these pudding keycaps are really nice. Basically what they do is they have essentially like a clear, I don't know if it's acrylic, a clear material or semi-transparent on the keycap itself. So if I just show you my keycap here. Um, let's get to focus. I've been taking really good care of my nails lately. The last like three months. I used to bite them egregiously all the way down to the, to the, uh, what's the cuticle? To the end of the cuticle. Is that, is that the correct term for it? I don't know. But uh, I used to bite all the way down to the white. And 
like four months ago, man, I would have had no nail. Like this whole part would have been gone. Anyone that has ever seen my hands pre um, pre self care, then you would have, you know, see. And I, I'm just really proud of that because I haven't had nails in like years. Literally, I used to bite them and it would burn because I used to bite them really short. It's just what I used to do. And it just stuck with me for so many years. But I'm glad that I broke that. Finally. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, so essentially, it's putting caps. And this is your keycap, right? It's nice and black. And usually, uh, it'll have a uh, clear material where the lettering is. So that way, the light shines through it, right? If you have LEDs. I don't have an LED keyboard. Um, RGB keyboard, sorry, I have a green, uh, just a green LED backlight on my keyboard, but RGB, it's red, green, and blue, so you get the whole color spectrum. Everything between that, everything uh, around that, you know, you get all that. It's pretty dope. But essentially, this putting keycap has white around it, and it'll be see through. So the light will shine through more of the keycap. It's really nice. Uh, I think I'm going to find a photo here. See, those lights are actually coming from the keyboard, so it essentially lights up the, the keys even more than, uh, than they usually would get. And it's really, it's really neat effect to get almost like a boost out of your keyboard. It's almost like you're uh, like overclocking your keyboard. You're getting more performance out of it, right? It really does look really neat. Like it makes the lights, uh, the lights shine through way more, way more. You can also get these acrylic keyboards. Yeah, essentially that whole metal backing, you know, or uh, metal base, I guess I should say, is all acrylic, so the light shines through even more. And if you had putting keycaps on top of that, dude, this whole thing would just light up. I like this vintage look. It's almost like a uh, like 2000s era look, you know, when they had those beefy boxes for computers. Pretty sweet. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I really just wanted to get this video talking about these sweet, sexy keyboards. Um, Ducky, love you guys. Exter, I fucking love you guys too. Make some sweet wallets. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I really just want to get this out. Hopefully this mic sounds good. I'm using a blue mic, so. It's not actually blue. I mean, if it was blue, that'd be dope, but. It's not actually blue. It's black. But uh, yeah. Anyway, my name's Denzel. I'll catch you guys later.